Developing tonight, we now know what caused an explosion that led to this moment captured by Chopper 2. Rescuers saving a worker trapped under the rubble. CBS 2's Chelsea Irving is outside University of Chicago Medical Center where two workers remain hospitalized. Chelsea. Erica, the two workers here are an electrical worker and an iron worker. The iron worker is the one who was trapped for hours yesterday. He has a shattered leg, a fractured spine, and multiple other broken bones. We are told he was doing his job as normal yesterday, just like any other day, doing nothing wrong when the torch that he was using sparked the enormous explosion. We have reason to be hopeful. These are injuries that will take a great deal of time and pain. He's in a lot of pain. Carolyn Grisco is the sister of the iron worker who was trapped for hours before being rescued. He was using the blowtorch that fire investigators now say sparked the explosion. There was a torch present down in the facility and his purpose was to uh, remove a frozen bolt which is common practice. While the torch sparked the explosion, why it happened is still unknown. We have no reason to believe that anybody was doing anything uh, wrong. OSHA is now investigating the exact cause, which investigators speculate may be mechanical. The Metropolitan Water Reclamation District is also hiring its own forensic investigator. As for plant operations, the water district says aside from the exploded tank, the plant suffered some electrical damage, but that will be fixed soon. And we expect that to be resolved very quickly. There's also uh, no danger whatsoever to the public. The iron worker is facing a long road ahead with multiple surgeries ahead of him. The electrical worker here is in stable condition with multiple fractures. All other workers who were injured yesterday have been released from area hospitals. Reporting live from the University of Chicago Medical Center, Chelsea Irving, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica, back to you. Chelsea, thank you.